Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about whether perfection is sameness, and this time, a topic I saw raised by someone online, whether heaven is boring due to being timeless. This person was raising issue with the whole idea of heaven by arguing that certain things about it sound good at first, but ultimately wouldn't make people happy. They said that the usual idea of heaven involves leaving time and space as such behind, and being joined to a timeless God. However, with everything being timeless, nothing would ever change, and everything would be boring. Now, while it's certainly true that changes can only take place within time, indeed, time is used to measure change for this very reason, the idea that heaven is timeless is not a settled question. This is because the angels and the saints, indeed, everyone in heaven but God, don't seem to have the qualities of truly timeless beings. A timeless being, because they're not in time, is incapable of change. That includes the biggest change of all, coming into existence. God doesn't undergo that change. He never comes into existence. His existence is truly necessary. He always was and is. Now, even the highest of the angels can't say that about themselves. Every last one of them had a beginning. They were created by God from nothing. Human beings and the universe are the same way, created beings who have beginnings. So it's possible, even likely, that the heaven that people and angels inhabit isn't timeless at all. If it's not timeless, there's no need to worry about being bored because everything wouldn't necessarily be the same from day to day. Secondly, however, even if it were timeless, you wouldn't be bored because guess what else requires time? Memory. All changes require time in order to happen, and memory is a change. There are things that I can remember today. Tomorrow, I'll be able to remember the events of one more day than I could today. That's a change. Therefore, it can't happen without time. God gets around this limitation because being omniscient, he knows everything from the start, but we don't. So if we were timeless, we'd be completely unable to learn or remember anything new. Now, you could say that such an existence would be tragic, and I agree, but at the very least you'd never be bored because you'd never be able to remember that you just did the thing you're about to do. However, the timelessness of God is often misunderstood in any case. You see, the timeless state in which God exists is bigger, not smaller than time. The various changes that we experience as different moments in a changing timeline, God experiences all at once, so it's not as though he's unable to appreciate, say, the value of music, something that takes place over time. He would just hear the music all at once and forever, rather than sequentially like we do, one note at a time. In general, however, I do think that humans weren't designed to experience reality in this way, and therefore, the heaven where the angels and saints live is probably not absolutely timeless. It's more likely to be a state of being created by God, which has a beginning, but no ending. Next, are our virtues worthless in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.